officially time for another pop-up and I am so excited for this one. So today is the day before the pop-up and I am getting ready and pretty much going to spend most of the day getting ready. This morning I ran a bunch of errands. Um, I decided for this pop-up that I'm not going to change my setup really. I want to keep it the same. I want to minimize my cost. I don't want to spend a lot of money um, on this pop-up since I basically already have all of the supplies at this point. But I will tell you a couple things I did buy. Um, one was new freebies. So I'm handing out little seltzers that match my tapestry. I had them last time um, and I can show you what those look like. Um, I'm also going to hand out new flyers. So I ordered some new flyers. I got them printed from FedEx. So that was really easy. All I had to do was design them on Canva and then download the file, upload it to FedEx, and then it was ready within like a couple hours. So I went and picked those up this morning. And the other thing that I bought for this time was the garment bags. So if you watched my last pop-up video, um, the one that's called Stressful Last Minute Pop-Up, um, that one I decided to try out the trash bag hack where you put all of your clothes in trash bags. And I think it's fine to do that, but it didn't look great. So um, this time I've got four garment bags from Ikea and I will show you what those look like. Okay, so I wanted to show you these Frocta bags really quick. Like I said, they're from Ikea. So it was kind of hard to get on, but I think I understand it now. Like on this side, it's not zipped up all the way. It's like impossible to. But when you pick it off the hanger and put it like on the floor, you're able to bunch all the hangers together at the top and then you can zip it up. So it's actually really easy to transport. Like you can put it like this and you can see all the hangers are there, but they're like more bunched together than they would be like up here. So my main point is just like if you're trying this yourself and you're having a hard time putting them on, that's okay. Basically, like, you get to as far as you can here, and then you can take it off, you can pick it up and put it on the floor, and then it will zip up much better and be super easy to transport. See that? It's going to be really easy to carry like this. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do now is figure out which clothing racks I'm going to bring this time. Um, I do have a U-Haul, so... The last minute pop-up event, I didn't have time to get a U-Haul and I didn't have as much room. This time I have a 7x7 booth. Um, so that being said, I'm going to bring my nicer clothing racks as opposed to the um, foldable ones. So since I have the U-Haul, I can bring the nicer ones that don't fold down. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to get to it and figure out which products I'm bringing. Um, I can't bring all my products, of course, because it's just too many and they won't fit in a 7x7 booth. Um, so I'm going to pick out which ones. I'm really excited because I can pick out all the summer styles this time. Uh, last, The last couple, it's kind of been like on the border of spring and winter. So I'm excited. And I am looking for even more pop-up events this summer all over the place and different kinds. I was even considering like going to a local fair and trying to hold a pop-up, but that ended up falling through um, because I have a brand new secret project I'm working on and that's all I'm gonna say about that. But yeah, I'm gonna get to it. Oh, and for those of you who are brand new to my channel, um, I did make a video where I explain all of the steps I take and all of the items I bring to my pop-ups. So if you are looking to hold a pop-up event or attend a vendor show, what have you, I do have that video. I will link it down below in the description bar that goes into a lot more details that will walk you through exactly how I prepare and set up for these type of events. Um, but since I've already made that video, I'm not gonna go into that much detail for this video. I think what I'll do next is just show you guys a little bit of setup, but also the pop-up itself. So. Stay tuned.
share with you guys what some of my most popular items have been so far. So this pink white floral dress has, seriously, it's sold out. I am out of all of my medium. I have one size small left. It's been probably the most popular item. I also have these two mini dresses that have been really popular. So we have one that's like the pink white floral print. That's definitely been a favorite and then also this black and white one. Mini dresses have been so popular lately and I have been selling a ton. Next, I also have these orange skirts. They have been crazy popular. I don't think I realized that it was unzipped, otherwise I probably would have fixed that for the camera. Another item that's been popular is these crazy comfy sweatpants. So you actually probably saw me unbox these a while back if you saw that video. They've even been popular this summer as it's warm, people are still loving loungewear. So I also have this kimono that's been really popular and this this style is popular not only in the summer like as kind of like a beach cover-up or a pool cover-up but it's also been popular in the winter. People just love pairing a long sweater. I also have this set um, the black set's been really popular and I also have a beige set that have both been really popular. Next I have this black and pink dress. I will say that this one did do a little bit better during the winter but it's still been a big hit and the back is so cute. It's open back. Okay. This romper is seriously like my favorite romper. It's got a cute tie back, like a cute little bow in the back. And it is so slimming. It fits so great on. Like I'm always shocked every time I put it on myself. And I also have another black mini. They both are really cute, but I definitely love the romper a little bit more. These cute little bralettes have been popular for a while. I don't sell very many bralettes but um, that one, that one particular style has been popular. I also have these white tops and I think people just love a cute white top because you can, they're so versatile. You can wear them with so many things. Okay, here's that beige set I was talking about. So this one and the black set have both been a big hit. Loungewear is just the way to go right now. And here are some more white tops. Like I said, they're just, they're kind of, this, the second one's not so basic, but the first two kind of are a little bit more basic. You can just pair them with so many different things. You can wear fun pants, you can wear jeans, you name it. And lastly, I have this cute white summer romper. It's got really pretty like cutouts on the sleeves and on the front. And despite the fact that it's long sleeves in Georgia, it's still been pretty popular this season. Okay, I lied, that wasn't the last item. I also have this really cute lace dress. It's just got so many details to it. It's got the strings in the front, it's got great lace, it's got cutouts. It's really perfect for a nice beachy look. And here's my jet setter dress. I love this dress. The reason I named it jet setter dress is because I just feel like a total jet setter when I wear it enough said and that's it hope you guys enjoyed so now I want to introduce you guys to my graphic designer who also just happens to be one of my close close friends um, her name is Christina and she also is one of my biggest supporters as you can see she loves to shop with me